Hello friends, I was looking for a mini ITX PC case with an elegant look for my living room home theater PC. Over net I came across Corsair Obsidian series model 250D suitable to my requirements I, and, and I went for it. In this video I will be unboxing and reviewing the same. This is Corsair Obsidian Series 250D Mini ITX PC case. Let's open the box. This is the usual installation guide. This is the warranty guide. This is the front of the case, it is in matte black finish, two USB ports, one socket for mic, another socket for headphone on the right side of the front panel. Then on the left side there is a reset switch, power LED, SDD LED and a power switch. In the center there is full 5.25 inch optical drive bay this is the detachable aluminium solid front panel it can be easily detached this is the front panel dust filter and inside we can see a fan uh, let's remove the dust filter and see what else is there in the front to remove the dust filter we have to push the tab down and pull the filter out. Inside we can see there are three sets of mounting holes. We can use any of the 120, 140 or 200 mm fan. 140 mm fan has been already provided with the case. Then let's re refix the dust filter and solid aluminium front panel. It is very easy to remove and fix the dust front dust panel and dust filter, so it's good. Let's turn to the back side and see what is there on the back side of the case. This is the mounting plate for ATX power supply. We can fix full size ATX power supply here space for motherboard IO shield, two slots for PCI Express or GPU, space for two ATMM fans, space for SDDs and SSDs. Let's remove the vented back plate. There are four trays inside. Let's remove them one by one. This is the tray for 3.5 inch HDD. There is another tray for 3.5 inch HDD. This is a box containing some screws and cable ties. There is another tray for SSD 2.5 inch SSD let's remove the last tray this is for 2.5 inch SSD so in all two SSDs and two SDDs can be fixed let's turn to the right side let's remove the thumb screws 
and the right side panel this right side panel uh, is protected by a magnetic dust filter this dust filter is detachable and washable there is a 120 mm fan fixed with the casing we can fix two 120 mm fan or we can fix radiator of 120 mm or 240 mm size let's turn to the left side of the case let's remove the thumb screws of the left panel and put remove the panel the left panel is also identical to the right panel let's pull the panel back and lift it the vent of the left panel is also protected with a magnetic dust filter this is the inside view of the casing this is the space for atx power supply to have a better look uh, we will remove the top panel we will remove the two screws of the top panel and pull it back and lift it the window of the top panel is made of acrylic plastic sheet space for a motherboard io shield two atm mm fan gpu and pci express card gpu with maximum length of 290 mm and maximum cooler height of 95 mm can be fixed space for mini itx motherboard four mounts are provided three pin connector for side 120 mm fan connectors from the uh, left front panel for power and reset switch power and hdd leds right side panel connectors for usb 3 uh, port and hdd hd audio three pin connector for front 140 mm fan let's turn the case upside down at the bottom of the case there is a dust filter for inlet of the atx power supply so the atx power supply fan should be facing down to remove the dust filter push the tab down and pull it so all the inlets of the casing are protected by dust filters which will reduce the dust accumulation inside the casing in my opinion the case is well ventilated and should reduce the heat built up in the system i have built a system using a mid tower case with the same configuration i'll be comparing the temperature rise in both the system and upload a video of the comparison shortly also i'll be uploading more videos on unboxing of mini itx motherboard by gigabyte model ga h170n wifi also i will be uploading a video of assembly of my htpc if you like my video give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel to watch my forthcoming videos share your suggestions in the comment box and i will try to include them in my forthcoming videos thanks for watching